tough issues within the church are set to take center stage these next two days during the Southern Baptist Convention's annual meeting. Among to topics expected to be discussed, sexual abuse by church leaders, racism and lack of diversity in the Southern Baptist churches, and the role women should play in church leadership. Thousands are expected to attend the meeting in Alabama. Heather Sells joining us now from our Virginia Beach headquarters for more. And Heather, sexual abuse came into the forefront for the SBC earlier this year when the Houston Chronicle and San Antonio Express News published a stunning series of articles called Abuse of Faith. Remind our viewers what the reporting found. Right, Eric. Well, they really found a wide range, you know, that the abuse problem goes deep in Southern Baptist churches. They found hundreds of clergy and, uh, vol and volunteers in churches um, accused of sexual misconduct and 700 victims, so pretty wide ranging. I spoke with pastor and uh, Southern Baptist President J.D. Greer about this a couple of weeks ago, and interestingly, he said his first uh, gut reaction to that Houston Chronicle report was, Lord, please protect our reputation. And then he said he felt uh, the Lord speak speaking to him and saying, you know, don't worry about that. You take care of the victims. Uh, Heather, how has the SBC been working to confront the sexual abuse crisis among its churches? Well, even before this Houston Chronicle report came out last summer, President J.D. Greer uh, convened a task force. They've come out with recommendations now, and they're wanting churches to really embrace a curriculum that will train all staff in how to make churches really safe, both for um, victims coming forward and, and to prevent abuse. And they are also looking at an amendment tonight that would basically uh, allow them to expel Southern Baptist churches that handle abuse poorly. Yeah, shifting gears just a little bit, Heather. In recent years, the SB SBC has had to answer for a history of racism. What's expected to come on that front during this year's meeting? Yes, well, it's been a long um, history. Uh, the Southern Baptist Convention was founded over the issue of slavery, and it has apologized. But again, tonight, they are considering an amendment that would allow the denomination to expel a church for racist behavior. And, and so it's something they are trying to take on even more seriously once again. What's interesting is that they are also seeing their growth come from uh, diverse circles of the U.S. Last year, six in 10 Southern Baptist churches that were planted were ethnically diverse. And so I think there's just a growing recognition that, that more than ever, they need to take on the issue of racism. Uh, yeah. Should women preach? It's, uh, Heather, as you know, been hotly debated in the Th Southern Baptist uh, churches. Right now, official SBC guidelines, though, uh, limit pastoral roles to men. Do you anticipate any movement on that? Right. Well, there's no shortage of hot button topics this year, and that is one of them, women in the church. And it started in part because popular um, Bible study author and, and Southern Baptist uh, leader Beth Moore uh, tweeted that she was preaching on Mother's Day, and, and she was just roundly pounded by some Southern Baptists, um, particularly a few professors and pastors who said absolutely no women should ever be in the pulpit. Uh, and then Al Moeller, who is the head of the Southern Baptist Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, just recently said, uh, this is not an issue. There will not be women in the pulpit. But I think what is interesting is that there is, it has sparked a larger conversation about what is the role of women in, in the church. And Southern Baptists, I think, are trying to come to a place where they look more carefully at how women and their gifts can be used. So they're saying, hey, not in the pulpit per se, but what do we need to do to really make sure that, that we are tapping into women's gifts? And so it's going to be interesting to watch that conversation play out. Nothing formal at this convention, but definitely an informal conversation. Yeah, a conversation that I'm sure will continue. Heather Sells in our Virginia Beach headquarters, thank you very much. You're welcome.